Welcome to WatchGuard to Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is Apple's blank root password. Before I start, I haven't posted videos in quite a long time. My only excuse is a crazy business and travel schedule, but I usually try to post even when I'm traveling. While I do have holidays coming up soon, I'll try to get out a few videos before the end of this year. In any case, today's story is what the heck gives Apple? Now, I'm never one that's believed in Apple's bulletproof security. The truth is, Apple products have vulnerabilities just like any other products out there, like Windows products. That said, Apple does have a significantly good security team and often make pretty smart design choices in their products. For instance, long before Windows had a separate root user account, or UAC, Apple always separated root from normal users, just like Linux systems. So they tend to make good security decisions and do things like use the hardware TPM modules to do secure boot. That's why today's Mac OS vulnerability, specifically a high Sierra vulnerability, is such a big surprising deal. Today, we learned that Apple has shipped High Sierra with a blank root password. You can actually check this out yourself if you have a Mac OS device. Just go to System Preferences and Users and try to add a new user, but instead of typing your own username, change it to root, put your cursor in the password box with a blank password, and hit login a few times. Eventually, you're going to be able to unlock and log in and then add as many user accounts to the Mac as you want. Now, now, a blank root account is very bad news. The only good news about this vulnerability is, is, is a local vulnerability. In this particular video where you see us using system preferences, it requires physical access to your uh, Mac OS device in order for an attacker to exploit it. However, some researchers suggest this is also scriptable. That means if an attacker can somehow get you to run a script or code on your Mac device, even with an underprivileged user account, they can just gain root privileges, full control of your OS X computer. Now there's some other good news besides the fact this is a local flaw, and that's it's very easy for you to fix. All you have to do is set a root password. I'll be sure to put a link in the blog post associated with this video to an Apple help article that talks about how you can enable the root user, set your own password, and then you might even want to disable the root user if you don't actually use it. In any case, the moral of the story is if you're a Mac OS X user, go set a root password right away, otherwise the underprivileged account can take over your Mac computer. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.